Right, so we're almost ready to start assembling all the electronics for this. So I've laid out all the components on the bench so we can have a quick look over them. So let's start with the batteries. So I'm using the LG 18650s. Uh, very good batteries, so I've got six of those. These are the power cells that I'll be using. You can see that they are just battery banks. So all I've done is remove the electronics and fit an 18 six, um, XT60 connector. So I've done five of them. I've just got one more to do. And that's what it's like when it's finished. Right, so I'm using six of those. You've already seen my the power brick. That one's all done now. Um, right, this is the battery BMS or battery management system. This is also a balance charger. So we've got the multi plug on there. That will monitor each individual cell during charging and while it's discharging. So as we're using batteries without any protection, you're going to need protection, whether that be individually or, as in this case, a 6S battery management. Um, if you're going to be using the battery management, make sure that when you buy one, it says balance charging as well. Because a board like this is just a protection board. Um, this is a 6S protection board. A lot of people are using these as a balance charger as well. But they are not balancing. So make sure it is a balance charger like this one. Um, this is the amplifier. Believe it or not, this is 30 watts per channel. It's a Class D amplifier. It's got some great reviews online. So I can't wait to uh, see what that one's going to sound like. Um, Bluetooth. Now this might look like a USB stick. But it's a Bluetooth audio receiver. So if I can just get that apart. There we are. So that's what it looks like. It's got the three and a half mil audio out. That would normally go to your amplifier and it's powered by five volts USB. But I've already taken the USB plug off this one and I've desoldered the 3.5 audio out. So that is our little Bluetooth board. Now this one's powered by five volts. So we'll be stepping the voltage down from our BMS through this little voltage step down board. Now this will we'll be inputting our 25 volts in this side and we should get a clean 5 volts out of this side to power the Bluetooth module. Now doing it that way we're going to create a ground loop so we're going to get hiss on our speakers so you'll need one of these. A DC to DC isolating converter now this will take our 5 volt supply and create a completely independent 5 volt supply. So we can eliminate our ground loop on that one. And this is our volume potentiometer. It's a twin pot one and we've got the on and off switch at the bottom there. Now the cable I'm going to be using inside for our audio source and output is going to be this um, microphone cable. It's shielded and it's twin core. So we'll be using the twin core and the shielding is going to be our earth. Uh, I've got a aluminium volume knob. And the speakers are going to be these. These are... Um, Dayton Audio ND65. 
I've got the 8 ohm ones. Now these I've got some incredible reviews online. They're 2 inch aluminium cone 4 range drivers. And I can't wait to hear those. Right, so that's pretty much listed all of our components. Uh, we got a DC jack there because I'm going to be uh, charging it through the DC jack as well. Although these are removable and the batteries are removable for charging, I'm going to be using this one. Okay, so next step is to start assembling. We need the little positive tab. So I've just warmed the soldering iron up. That's that one. There, so that was quick and easy. Both came straight off and no problem. Now this one, although it's got the um, the TP4065 charging chip, it doesn't have any discharge protection on it, so I can't see that I'm going to find a use for that. But I'll put it in my spares box, just in case. Right, we'll need to solder this positive tab that connects with the battery to the bottom of the two terminals. The square one on the XT60 is always the positive. So I've made a short piece of wire. I'm not sure if that's going to be too short now I'm looking at it, but we'll give it a go. So we'll need to tin it first. I'm not holding it because that will burn my fingers. Well, need to bunch these wires up a bit better than that. Right, let's try that. Right, that looks okay. I'm not going to pick it up because I know that's going to be hot. I'll take the end with the most solder on. Ouch! Yes, it is hot. Because I want to put this across that way because there's not a lot of clearance on this... ...on this terminal when it clears the, um, the holder, so... Ouch. Right, so that positive is all soldered up okay. Now this one, the negative will sit in there like that. I've bent that, that end of that leg straight. I don't know if you can remember from when we desoldered it. It had that, that kink on it as it passed through the circuit board. But... I think that's okay there. It's sat in there about two mil, but we'll cover that with a a mass of solder. But I just want to put a little bit of heat shrink tubing on there so that we can slide that back up just to shield it. There is plenty of separation there, but it doesn't cost much to put a little bit in there. So let's just clamp this one in and sit it in place. And let's solder it in. There, that looks okay. Right, while we're here, let's just try a battery in there.
Let's just grab the multimeter. Right, can you see that? Yeah, just about. Right, remember the bottom is, or the square part is positive. So there we are, you can see we got 4.1 volts. So we're good. That is one power cell completed. The only thing we need to do now is to pack this with hot glue. Now the reason for that is when we push these power cells into the uh, Bluetooth speaker, it's gonna be making contact with these. So we'll be pushing down, there's gonna be a force on this end. So to ensure it doesn't push backwards, we'll pack it out with um, hot glue, let that dry, and that should hold it in there. Pretty solid. You turn toward me and look so weak. I've never seen you with such tired eyes. And everything we said we'd be. We just trade it for a suit coat and a tie. Socks and shoes right off. That natural light is so damn polite, can make you feel just like you were young again. Standing underneath the rows of trees. to pray today but no one's listening anymore do i need to fade away or stay here laying down on the floor i want to know 
If you beat the shoulder that I need, I want to go. So take me to Neverland. Take me to Neverland. <laughs> 